Loudoun County Board Chair Phyllis Randall began the meeting by announcing the federal contract to use the National Conference Center in Lansdowne as a processing center for a second wave of Afghan evacuees had just been signed. Unlike the Dulles Expo Center, where evacuees who arrived last summer were processed, the National Conference Center is near a neighborhood and schools. And I want to know why you indicated that this wasn't a done deal and why the citizens of the county had no say in this. I'm in the industry, the intelligence industry. None of these people are invest, or have been embedded. All the stuff about them being vetted is not true. You're putting us at risk, our children at risk. Sheriff Mike Chapman's complaints that the county had not been given enough information about the plan led to a personal apology from the DHS secretary and a promise the site would be fenced with security cameras installed. A DHS official described the estimated one to two thousand people expected to arrive per month as mostly women and children, family of interpreters and others who work to support the U.S. military in Afghanistan. These aren't people that are strangers to us in phase two. These are people that we know who they are, that we're identifying and putting them on a, a list and then moving them uh, to this location. I don't trust the DHS for anything. I think they snowballed the um, Board of County Supervisors by telling them things and then they're going to do something else. This facility, which is privately owned, has about 900 rooms, some of which are suites that can accommodate families. In Loudoun County, Jackie Benson, News 4. Now, DHS says the contract to use the conference facility runs through September of this year.